when we first approach to the plot we seen there is a very small plot just below the 900 square feet of area and client has a huge requirement behind it they needed two car park four bedrooms one entertainment area and some green spaces This project is located in a Kareli Bagh area of Vadodara city which is like urban residential neighborhood of the city. There is one particular requirement they need a two car parks so the first ideology came up with that we have to do a parking on a ground floor. There is a 6 meter road in the front side of the house which is a east facing and the plot surrounded by the same size of the plot. The plot measuring 33 feet in depth and 27 feet in front. So what we have done, we set some basic margin, which is 1.5 meter, and we start building house in between. And we have two feet of architectural projection, which we can use on front side of the road. So total, what we get is around 600 square feet of clean area. On the ground floor, what we did. We have one front gate, around 20 feet of wide. So we kept one bedroom with the attached toilet on a ground floor. We kept one car park over here. We have one car park over here and some two wheeler parking. And there is a one staircase which is approaching us to the first floor foyer. when we approach from the ground floor to the first floor we have one small foyer on the marginal spaces which is covered by the canopy then we enter from the sliding main door and the sliding grill to the living room area which is also adjoining with the dining area and the puja room area which is on a east side of the house and we have one balcony over there which is 12 feet by 3 feet which connect the house with the front side of the road and we have one staircase which connect us to the second floor and a third floor we have kitchen on a north face which is also connected with the one utility area and we have one small bedroom which is parent bedroom which also has a one attached toilet bathroom Now we are in our living area. We use sliding door and sliding safety grill, so we have maximum space inside the living. In sofa, we use rustic pink color of the fabric. Same we follow in artifacts, and same we follow in a even center tables also. For the curtain, we use double layer curtain, which one is matching with the sofa fabric, and another one is a plain white fabric. For the flooring, we use vitrified ivory color, beige color of tiles for all over the floor except the master bedroom and the home theater area. We are in the dining area, uh, which also have puja area and staircase area. In dining, we use the solid wood base, same in a chair as well. Fabric we use is a tan color and Italian tone on a top of the dining table. As we go to the puja room. we created one traditional jalis on it as a client wanted it and we follow the same pattern inside the puja as well in puja bed we created one gayatri mantra from the veneer and we lighted from the back side in the staircase we used ms plate which is bent from the back side so it help us to reduce the flexibility of the ms plate and we cleared one solid wood on top of it which is finished with the scratch proof of polish for the railing we used ms bar and then top of it we cleared with the wood which can be used as a handrail we have one wall which connect all the floors on a side of staircase which is finished with the nano topping concrete on it for the color we selected one single color for all over the project which is applied on the same wall and ceiling as well which is a bit of gray tinted in the artwork on a staircase explaining the places where you stand right now 
and the color is also matching with the furnishing of the living room and the puja room. When we come to the second floor, we have one passage which connect two bedrooms. One is a master bedroom on the front side of the road and we have one children's bedroom on the back side. We are in a master bedroom. For the master bedroom bed bag, we use one satwariya tile and we paste it on a wall. And on the top of it, we use corrugated MDF color with the tint of green. On a wardrobe, we follow the same pattern we used on the back side of the bed. On a artifacts, we use same color palette, follow on a furnishing and all over the room. We provided one slit window from the east face, so morning sunlight can come direct on a bed and we created one balcony which connect from outside to inside and which can be used as a lighting and a ventilation point of it. Children bedrooms we use blue color palette as their daughter wanted to use it. On, on TV wall we created one pattern and same we follow on a wardrobe handles. On a bed, we use leather upholstery on bed side and bed back. So underneath the bed, we use mirror, so the bed looks like floating on a air. We have one balcony which faces towards the north. come up to the third floor we have one small pantry area uh, one storage and one uh, powder toilet and is also connected with the one entertainment zone which is also connected with the one deck and the outside terrace garden area most of the time when we use entertainment area we use on a evening time so what we needed we needed our landscape area to be cooled down while we are using. So we kept that area on the east side so we don't have any west facing or south facing light on it or the heat heat gain we get. We are in a home theater area. As a flooring we use the wooden floor and on a wall we cladded with the acoustic panel which is filled back by the glass hole. So we don't have any echo effect from the sound. As a color combination, we use tan color of sofa, blue color of back cladding and beige color of side cladding. As a curtain fabric, we also use the same color matching fabric with the side wall clad. As we come out from the home theater, we have one deck here and which connect with the outside terrace. We use the artificial loan on it. To get these kind of spaces in this small house, what we did, we took only six columns to maximize the size in between the uh, built up area. If you see through the section, we have a uh, ground floor with the parking. First floor, we have front side, we have living room, dining room. Back side, we have one bedroom and the kitchen, which is also ventilated through the west side of the windows. And the living room, we have 12 feet of windows on the front side. As we go to the second floor, master bedroom has a east facing window and the children bedroom has a north facing window in it. On third floor, we have entertainment zone which is also connected with the one aluminum sliding partition to the outside terrace area. The house is surrounded with the same size of the house and there are very small marginal spaces kept the opening from the floor to the ceiling. So what we have, we have the maximum lights from the east side and the north side. If you look at from the front side, we have three small windows, slit windows on a southeast side of the corner, which is open of inner staircase area, which maximizes the light in between staircase. So we don't need any artificial light to use the staircase. For the living spaces in between, we kept the 
bigger size of the window so we have maximum light and the air ventilation in between we also have some smaller window which is used as a cross ventilation windows from the master bedroom and a living room as well from the living room of balcony we kept one tulsi kiara it is also in south north east of the corner the balcony also connected with the road and the house as they live from the first floor from the material point of view we did one simple gray colors on a texture wall and we did slate cladding on the front side of the house if you look at from the side elevation we kept the window minimum size so we don't have any privacy issue with it we have one slit window from the living and from the master bedroom which can connect from the spaces to the road so we don't have to go outside to the balcony to look outside throughout the whole project we have used many wooden options like many wooden uh, finishes uh, different different finishes in the project like if you walk through the living room we used the veneer on living room ceilings uh, on a staircase we cleared a natural wood on a ms plate for the railing we also follow the same we create a railing with the ms structure and we cleared one slip slick wood on it which can be used as a handrail we use one uh, pattern which also given by their daughter we used it on a name plate on a parking floor quota on a main gate and a living veneer ceiling and uh, to break down the solidity of the ceiling and the panels all over the house we created some grooves and vertical stripes to minimize the maintenance in all over the house we kept pnc uh, cutting very limited we only used in the mandir as a aesthetical aspect only for the puja room we kept the same color on a door but uh, we created one pattern on it which follow inside puja room as well after finishing this project we learned that in the very small area from very tight budget from the very small time gap we created something unique very minimal of it uh, from the interior point of view design all came on spot maximum time we used the hand sketch on site for the interior point of view we learned lots of things in between like how to play with the budget how to play with the spaces how to play with the light how to play with the spin and how to interconnected with the client also because each client have their different different needs so we have to understand their needs and have to work on it